Hi friends, Ariana here, giving you your weekly journaling prompts. For this week, I want to explore tools because with journaling and like most things, your tools matter. Now, one thing to keep in mind is journaler's choice when choosing your tools, right? There's not one right or wrong way to journal. There's the best way for you. And so that's why the tools are very much a journaler's choice uh, type of decision. Uh, so for some people, they like the pens um, and colorful gel pens and fancy things like that. I myself tend to stick with pretty plain ballpoint pens and pencils uh, because that's just what feels comfortable and right for me. Uh, so the paper, the way that the journal lays, uh, the way that the writing utensils that you're using feel in your hand and feel when you're writing all makes a difference and is all important to keep in mind. Uh, so I encourage you to reflect on what tools feel best for you. What's your favorite type of journal? What's your uh, favorite type of paper? What's uh, your favorite and preferred writing utensil? And to invest in the tools that feel good for you and to use those and to make that a priority because it really doesn't matter what you choose as long as it feels good for you. And to that end as well, if you find a tool or a journal or something that doesn't feel right, uh, let go without shame, without guilt, without judgment, just put it away and move on to something that feels right. I have a number of unfinished journals because I just didn't like the way they laid open um, or I didn't like the size, right? So it doesn't have to be um, something that you finish. So if you have a bunch of journals that are unfinished, um, just let them go without judgment, without shame, without ridicule. And again, choose the tools that feel right for you and give yourself permission to experiment with the tools to find the best ones for you. I personally have a moleskin journal where I do a lot of my planning, ideation, organizing. Uh, I have dots and I have the soft bound cover. That's what works best for me. That's what I like. I also have a spiral bound uh, journal that I use for my daily morning uh, spiritual practice and writing like that. And I do that in just a basic ballpoint pen. So they don't have to be fancy, they don't have to be expensive, but if that's your choice, if that's what feels right, if that's what inspires you, go for it. The other thing that I encourage you to do, especially if you're in a place where you're starting to um, journal or you want to get back into journaling, is to pause for a moment. Let's do this right now, just pause, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths in and out. And picture yourself journaling. Where are you? What are you writing on? What time of day it is? Just as much as the tools matter, so does the place and the space and the time. So give yourself that gift if it's sitting in a comfy chair looking out the window, which is one of my favorite places, then do your journaling practice in a place like that. If it's sitting at a table, sit at a table. Just choose what feels right for you in terms of the tools and in terms of the space and the place where you journal. That's it for this week. If you want to connect with the others, get some inspiration and support in your journaling practice, you're always welcome to join a journal jam. The next one will be on December 16th. Details and the link to register are below, so check those out. I would love to hear what your favorite journaling tools are and your favorite place and space to journal. So please feel free to share in the comments. Take care and be well.